What's up, YouTube family? Welcome back or welcome to my channel. As you guys can see from the title, I am going to be doing a grocery haul today. So I am at my local Winco and I wanna go and see what kind of deals they have going on here today. I am on a $100 budget today for my family of six. So I'm gonna go in here and see what I could get for $100. Um, I wanna kinda put together some meals. I did write down a few meal plans that I wanna get and hopefully this will last through the week but yeah guys let's go follow me along as i go in here and shop and try to budget as much as possible usually i shop at fred meyers but today i wanted to come to winco just because i'm spending a little less money than what i usually would now i don't receive any ebt snap um anything like that so i am spending cash money so i am a little frugal i am a little budget shopper when it comes to that because you know times are hard things are expensive so i want to get the biggest bang for my buck so follow me guys let's go in here and shop and see what i can find all right so walking in you got the street tacos on sale for a dollar 38 I'm actually going to grab some of these because I do want to make some tacos. I'm going to grab the flour ones. I'm hoping it's not packed in here today. I'm trying to get in and get out and get on. So I always like to get... Pasta. You can never go wrong with pasta. Pasta is a cheap, inexpensive meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some spaghetti noodles. You can't go wrong with spaghetti. Throw that in there. When you first walk in the Winkle, they usually have a bunch of stuff lined up and it's usually on sale. They got some cornbread mix, 48 cents. I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Got the mandarin seedless oranges on sale for $3.98. I like getting these. My little ones really love these. Only bad thing is they literally will go through them like in a couple days. But they are good little snacks for them. So I'm gonna grab some of these. They got some Fuji apples. They also have the honey crisp apples. These are both on sale for $1.98 for a two pound bag is this one. So there's two, four, six of them in this bag. I think these bags have a little bit more. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna go with one of these ones if I can find one that is not all bruised up. Another good snack, Fuji apples, $1.98. They got the blueberries, $3.98. This is for an 18 ounce pack of blueberries. I like getting blueberries. These are good to go in your oatmeal, in your yogurt, things like that. So I'm gonna grab a pack of blueberries. Now I have been waiting for the asparagus to go on sale. It is currently $1.98. As you can see, these are the prices of it elsewhere. So I am definitely gonna grab a couple of these cause I love asparagus. And like I said, it's finally on sale. Gotta have bananas, 58 cents a pound for the bananas. Gonna grab a couple cucumbers. The cucumbers are on sale for 78 cents a piece. Cucumbers are always good for if you want to put them in your salad or if you just want to eat them plain with some ranch. Grab a couple cucumbers. Broccoli is always a staple in my house. Like we eat broccoli almost for every vegetable. Got 
Now I definitely like shopping here when it comes to the lemons because the lemons are 38 cents a pound, or I'm sorry, 38 cents a piece here. You see Fred Meyers, Walmart, they're more. So I'm gonna grab a bunch of lemons. I usually grab about 10 lemons every time I come to the store. We got red onions for 84 cents. I'm actually gonna grab one of these because I don't use onion too much. And a lot of them don't look too great. I don't know. But we'll go with this one. So we got a red onion. So one of the things that I try to avoid when I'm coming to the store is this aisle of all the snacks because honestly, when I buy snacks, they are gone within like the first day because my kids are constantly in the kitchen eating them up. So I try to avoid that. Excuse me. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these distilled waters. Now I only drink distilled water in my house and I also use the water to cook. I pretty much use it for everything, like boiling, cooking, everything. We use it to drink. So I usually grab about five of these at a time. They are $1.18 here. They're only $1.18. I wanna say at other stores, they're a little bit more. I think like maybe $1.88 or something like that. So I do like to come here, like I said, to Winko for certain things because they are much cheaper than other places. They have a bunch of cute stuff in the aisles usually right here too. They got little um, insulated totes right here. I mean, the prices are pretty good. It comes with a water bottle and everything. So actually you can't beat that price, $14.98 for these. It's a seven piece set. Yeah, those are cute. They also have these little plates. I actually have some of these. I wanna say I got like four of them here a long time ago, but they weren't $2.98. I know they weren't, cause I wouldn't have spent that much for um, one of them. So they were probably cheaper when I went in here and got them. But those are cute, I still have them, I think. I haven't seen them for a while. They've already got some of their Easter stuff out. I don't see any Valentine's Day stuff. They got these little hammocks, those are cute. Oh, here we go. They don't have a lot for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is in a couple days. They must have got sold out of everything already. People probably hit them up already. So this is the little bit of Valentine's stuff day that they have left over. Now I usually get these sausages, but they keep going up and down in price in here. Right now they're currently $4.68. I want to say at um, Fred Meyers, they might be like a dollar cheaper. I think I'm going to pass on those today because I don't know what I'll use them for anyway. These ones down here are $3.98. Yeah. Smoked sausages. Of these big packs, uh, these big packs, which are three pounds, these are $13.28. And these little packs are, what, one pound? One pound? Okay. Let me see. And they got these ones down here. And these are $2.63 a pound. Or no, that's two pounds and those are $4.98 a pound. So these ones are $14.99 versus the roll. I'm not sure on the difference between the roll and the packaged one. I don't know if they're all the same. I don't even know. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the package. This is $14.99. I'm always gonna get my shrimp. They got shrimp $6.38 for the large raw. I always get this with the tail on. And These ones are $6.38 for the large. So I'm gonna get one pack of these. 
All right, so let's find some chicken. Guys, the chicken drumsticks have been on sale for $1.38. Look at this price, $3.10, $3.26. These ones are all frozen. And you got these ones over here, $7.70, $6.50, $5.76. I'm gonna grab a couple packs of the drumsticks because that is a good deal. All right, I'm gonna grab a couple packs of the drumsticks. Drumsticks it is because like I said, we are on a budget. And the chicken thighs aren't too bad either, but I don't know, chicken thighs be a hit or miss sometimes when it comes to me buying them. My kids don't really eat them too much, but they do like drumsticks. So I'm gonna stick with the drumsticks today. They also have some boneless chicken breast strips. These are on sale for $5.47. Actually, I won't say they're on sale, but they got these in here for $5.47. That's what these look like. I'm pretty sure I could use these for some kind of meal tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. So now I'm gonna see how much these eggs are. Okay, so they got the 60 count for $20. I don't think I'm gonna be getting these ones today. They got the 18 count for $6.98. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that. I think the price of the eggs definitely went up, but because I don't have any at all, I'm gonna go ahead and get these ones. You can never go wrong with eggs. Gotta always have some eggs in the house. So one of the meals that I wanted to prepare this week involves hash browns or tater tots. So I think I'm gonna get tater tots and I'm gonna go with the ones that cost $2.98. Because again, we are on a budget. These are tasty taters, whatever. I don't know, it's all the same to me. They all pretty much taste the same. So we're gonna go with these ones today. I'm also gonna grab some Texas toast. This goes great when you're cooking spaghetti or any type of pasta dish. You always have the Texas toast on hand. So I think the price of the waffles definitely went down because they were a little bit more expensive. My kids love these blueberry Eggos, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these. I grabbed some enchilada seasoning. I already have everything that I need to cook the enchiladas um, since I have the ground beef now. Everything else that I need to cook them I already have at home. So I just needed this for um, the rest of the meal that I'm gonna make. Y'all, why am I in the store and this thing just came up behind me? Like it's about to run me over. I have never seen this thing come through the store by itself before. That's crazy. <laughs> and it's literally turning the wheel and everything. That's crazy and creepy at the same time. I think I'm in its way. I don't know. No, it's going. Y'all, technology. Okay, I grabbed some honey. Now, usually I would get either this honey or this honey, but since I'm on a budget today, this honey it is. This one right here. This one is still five bucks for this honey. I use honey because I drink tea pretty much every day, so you gotta have your honey for your tea. I really need to start making my own um, sauce when it comes to spaghetti. But we're not going to do that today. We're just going to grab one of these. So I'm going to grab the tomato, garlic, and onion. And this will be for the spaghetti. And I've already got my spaghetti noodles. But I'm probably going to make another pasta. Either with the chicken or with the shrimp. So I want to grab some um, rotini noodles. That's what I want.
Y'all, I don't see any real teeny noodles. So, hmm. I think I'll just go with the penne noodles today. My kids also like the penne noodles, especially when I'm making like something um, like a fettuccine Alfredo or something like that. They like the penne noodles. So for one of the meals that I'll cook this week, I'll probably be making some barbecue chicken with the drumsticks. So I'm gonna grab a can of Bush's baked beans. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the brown sugar hickory baked beans. Guys, I actually stopped keeping track of my total. So I'm hoping that it's not over. We shall see. But I think so far we're doing so good. So far so good. Shredded cheese, always on sale. It's always $1.98 in here. So I'm gonna grab one of those. And this is just the Mexican style blend. I'll use that for the enchiladas. Really like this butter chicken sauce. But I don't think I want to pay $5 for it today. I want to say it's a little cheaper um, at Walmart. I don't know. But this sauce is really good. I don't know if you guys have ever tried that. If you have, leave a comment below. But butter chicken sauce, simmer sauce, that stuff is really good. But I don't think I'm going to get that today. Okay, here's a quick over of everything that I got in my cart. Guys, I am so curious to see if this is gonna come out to $100 or less. What do you guys think? think it's gonna be less, more? I oh, don't know. I only got $100, so we might be putting something back. No, I'm joking, but it's still. $96.98. Ah! All right, so y'all seen that total, right? $96.98. I cannot believe that I did not go over my $100 budget. So I was pretty much just in there picking up stuff that I knew that I needed, knew that would last us for a couple days. And I stayed under my $100 budget. Like, I'm so excited about that. Y'all just don't know. I think I'm gonna take that couple extra dollars and go buy me a lottery ticket or something. Thank you guys so much for coming and joining me on this little grocery haul. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.